In this video, I'm going to make a C program that can print itself. And the approach I'm going to take is to actually open up this source code file from within the program and output each character in that file one at a time. So the first thing I'm going to need is a file pointer. So I'm going to say here file star fp. Then I'm going to need a variable to store each character in the file. So I'll say car c. Now I'm going to open access to the file. So fp is equal to f open underscore underscore file and then r. So f open opens up the file and gives us access to it via this file pointer. The first argument here is the name of the file. The second argument is the mode to open the file with. And we're going to open it in reading mode because we want to actually open up the file and read all the characters inside of it. And then this here is actually a preprocessor macro. You might not have seen this before. The C compiler is going to set this to the name of the source code file. So in this case, it's going to be d.c but it's gonna be set by the compiler to whatever the actual name of the source code file is. So then after we've done that, we're gonna actually read each character and output it. So we'll say here, while, and I'm gonna do something a bit odd here. I'm gonna put an assignment statement inside of this while loop condition here. I'm gonna say while C is equal to get C F P put car C. So what this does here is it reads in each character from the file one at a time and it's going to store them into C and then in each iteration of this while loop here we're just going to output that character to the console here now what's kind of interesting is we've got this assignment happening in the while loop we eventually want the while loop to terminate and typically what we've got is a true or false condition in here something that's going to eventually be false so that way the while loop is going to terminate what we're going to do in this case is we're going to put brackets around this and we're going to say while wow, this doesn't equal EOF. So EOF is a constant. It stands for end of file. And the way that this expression works is that once get C retrieves the character and stores it in C here, this expression here, this assignment statement, it's actually going to evaluate to that character. So like, the first time through this while loop body, this expression is going to evaluate to the character here, pound, like the character pound, and then I, and then N, and then C, and on and on, right? And eventually what's going to happen is when it reaches the end of the file, this expression is going to evaluate to EOF, end of file. And at that point, that's when we want to stop reading the file. So that's why we have the assignment statement in this while loop condition like that because we can actually use the results of this assignment statement to check when we're done reading the file. And then in the while loop body, we just output the character each time. So then we'll close our access to the file now because we're done with it. We'll say F close FP. Okay, save that. And then we'll do a compilation and we'll run it and we'll see what we get. Okay, so we compiled it. I'm just gonna actually make this bigger just so we can kind of see the results more cleanly. So I run it and then I get my file back here. And so we've made a C program that can print itself. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.